Hey guys, uh, Chris here back again. We got the uh, final video here for the uh, ammunition uh, testing up here today. I got all one, two, three, four, five different types up here. Uh, first one right here, Federal T556 NB1, 62 grain open tip, which is uh, supposed to be better than the um, uh, green tip ammunition. This is the uh, groupie I got with the uh, uh, bullet right here using the uh, PSA upper at a distance of about 28 yards just standing or uh, you know trying to sit try and do a, like a half-ass squat on my uh, you know broken bench over here for that so uh, the accuracy should probably be a bit better but I don't have my other bench because my other bench is broken and I have to um, you know get that fixed next time we're up here so I can't do anything about that guys uh, next ammunition we have here is the good old gecko 223 55 grain using the PSA upper as well too here's the box and here's the group size. I got a distance at about 28 yards right here for that. So you can see the difference between them two. This one's shooting a little bit high and slightly to the right. This one is shooting slightly to the low uh, portion right here for that. And the next stuff we got here is the Lehigh Defense. I was not uh, really impressed about this stuff right here. Uh, I, I actually shot, uh, I think about eight rounds using this stuff up here. And I kept on getting like, you know, two close together right here. Then one, it'll be up, um, up a bit than the other ones right here. So uh, my PSA upper does not like it apparently. So uh, I, I can probably try it in my other um, guns, but I only have one 20 round box right here for that. So it's kind of almost uh, pointless doing that. So that's the Lehigh Defense 55 grain using the PSA upper with the FN barrel. And that's the uh, group I got right here for that specifically at a distance of 28 yards. It was blowing up here, so we did have a little bit of cross when, when I was actually uh, you know shooting this one group. But uh, I really don't want to blame it on that right here for that. But uh, the Lehigh Defense uh, was the one out of the five I shot up here that was not performing to my you know uh, um, expect expectations basically. Uh, next one we got here is the uh, GGG, uh, the 62 grain uh, ammunition that's supposed to be uh, made to a higher standard than the typical M855 stuff. Uh, I was also told this stuff uh, burns burns pretty hot. I think it actually burns hotter than a typical M855 round. And this is the actual group size we have with the ammunition right here for that. That's the group size we got here with this tough right here this is the uh, 2013 ammunition made by GGG made to the NATO spec or I should say it uh, surpasses the NATO specifications for M855 CD2 grain uh, bullet right here for the actual green tip however it does, it does not have a green tip designation on the end of the bullet that's the only difference between that because European standards versus American standards so we'll move on to the last one we got here uh, Black Hills Armory or Black Hills Ammunition. Sorry about that. Here we go. This was actually probably the best grouping overall. Uh, compared, I was I was I'm comparing the Black Hills Ammunition, and this is the 77 grain stuff right here, guys. This is the group size we have right here, 28 yards, and it was relatively calm up here when I was actually shooting that stuff right here for that. So here's the size of the or side of the side of the box. Sorry about that. Side of the box, 55 grain or uh, I mean 556, 77 grain OTM match bullet. So that's the group size at a distance of 28 yards using the PSA upper. And for comparison reference, I'll show you this one in comparison with the actual Gecko ammunition over here as well too. The Gecko ammunition had a extremely tight clover leaf right here for that. I, I actually could not believe how good of a group it was actually shooting right here for that. So that's the Gecko ammunition at a distance of 28 yards using the 55 grain uh, bullet right here as well too and the other black hills ammunition right there as well too so it's it's almost like a near tie between the black hills and also the uh, gecko uh, personally the gecko ammunition seems to be burning uh, a bit cleaner and also the uh, felt recoil seems to be lower than the uh, typical black hills ammunition as well too plus seems like this may be a good alternative for a uh, cheap uh, you know cheap reliable and accurate ammunition you want to buy in, an, in a bulk uh, quantity right here for that so it uh, does three things yields excellent groups right here as you see right here at a distance of uh, 28 yards for me just using my you know piece of shit uh, bench it's partially broken over here with my uh, you know my range bag so that's all I got right here guys all I have to do is basically squat 
I'm trying to squat down here and using the range back, so it's not the most um, optimal way of trying to do a demo or a demo test for the accuracy. I apologize for that, but I don't I don't have my other bench is totally destroyed, so I apologize for that, guys. So that's me just winging it up here with the five different types: the Federal uh, White Box, right there, as you see, the Gecko Ammunition, the Lehigh Defense, which was uh, not doing me any good up here at all. And the GGG made by Lithuanian Company right here as well too. And the Black Hills Performance Ammunition right here as well too, guys. So that's a review for all five. All five uh, went bang. Didn't have any hiccups or misfires, anything else like that. So the best one out of the whole group was the Gecko Ammunition with the 55 grain using the PSA upper with the Hammer Forged uh, FN barrel right here specifically for that. And the second one right, be right behind that one was the Black Hills Ammunition. I think I might have uh, flinched maybe just a tad right here with, with this stuff because this one seemed to have more of a kick than the typical 55 grain stuff. So that's probably uh, partially my fault. So it's probably my fault why the grouping was actually larger than it would actually had to be right here for that because I basically had two bullets almost in the same exact hole right here for that one. Uh, you can see one, two right here, and see the first one's up here, one, two, and the bottom two right here. So it was almost dead nuts right in the middle of these two bottom ones right here. And the, uh, the uh, gecko almost had like a perfect uh, clover leaf right here for that stuff. So that was using the uh, PSA 20 inch upper. Let me give you a shot of that one right here as well, too, again. Move this thing out of the way. Okay. That's a PSA, 20 inch, there we go, sorry about that. The camera didn't want to focus, guys, sorry about that. PSA, 20 inch upper. Had the Magpul Gen 3 magazine. This one has the, P or this one, this one has the BCM blower right now currently on it. I also have the ALG ACT Advanced Combat Trigger with the purple spring in it as well too. So it has like about a four, maybe about a four, four and a half inch, or four and four pound uh, trigger pull. Plus it also has the um, what's called the uh, JP Rifles Silent Bolt or Silent Recoil Spring Assembly in here. It has a H3 mass, it has three tungsten and pieces in there with a yellow spring for the actual buffer uh, system right here as well too. So we'll flip around here and get our side shot. Okay, there's the other side. That's a PSA upper with the primary arms, Red Dot MDADS, Red Dot. And the lower P, the uh, P, uh, BCM lower as well too, guys. So trigger worked great, no problems with it whatsoever. Primary arms worked perfectly fine as well too. And the reason I kept the uh, uh, you know call the clamshell or the ice, I don't know what they call them. I, I can't remember what the, what is it, the clamshell or ice ice pack. I don't know what it is. So I apologize for that. Uh, the reason I kept this one on here was because I wanted to put it on my bag right here so to have enough uh, we want to call uh, you know angle because my other. Uh, hand guards on the front over here. They have the uh, four uh, four grip on the bottom as well too. So I want to keep it as flat as humanly possible. So it'd be trying to yield the best overall groupings right here for that. So that's why I chose the PSA with the uh, two-piece handguard system right here to do the accuracy test for those different types of ammunition we had up here today, guys. So that's everything we have up here right now for you. I'll give you another shot of the weapon here again too for. Uh, reference and verification. Let me flip it around here for you guys. Okay, let me put it over here on the side. There we go. You can get a side shot of it right here. Looks great. Functions great. No hiccups, no problems. And it works perfectly fine. I should mention I also did um, upgrade the extractor. I put a JP Rifles extractor and I also put the um, uh, BCM uh, spring for the extractor in there as well too. So it has a really tight, uh, tough extractor spring in with the JP rifles extractor so it should yield a more positive ejection because sometimes if you shoot real hot ammunition out there and it wants to uh, cycle the bulk here real fast you might get like a stuck case or something possibly or it uh, might leave around in the chamber because the bulk hair is moving back so fast so it's always a good idea to upgrade your extractor with a mil spec one preferably like a BCM uh, extractor kit or like a JP Rivals extractor uh, assembly right there for that. So we'll give you another shot of the ammunition we actually had up here today for reference. So here you go guys. Again, there's the Federal ammunition right here as well too using the PSA upper. The get-go ammunition as well too. Lehigh Defense which was uh, performing subpar for me up here. I did not like it. 
the uh, GGG ammunition made by Lithuanian Company 2013 production. And finally, the Black Hills ammunition as well, too, which yielded uh, quite uh, respectable grouping right there as well, too. It was, it was actually slightly less than the uh, Gecko ammunition, so it's good stuff all around. It worked. It was almost dead nuts in the middle of the target. So that's what everything looked like for today, guys. It's going to be a nice big pan over all over again. So if anybody has any comments, questions, whatnot today, feel free to uh, leave me a message here. And we'll try to get back to you within 24 to 48 hours with some kind of a detailed response to your basic question about your, uh, you know, question right there for you guys. So I'll see you. Have a nice day.